My name is Charlie Gonzalez. I teach Cunningham Technique at Peter Performance Space. Cunningham Technique is about building the dexterity throughout the body uh, with the limbs and the spine moving together or independently. Joining me in this workshop today are Tamsin Carlson, Julie O'Peel, and Heather Seabolt. We'll be performing three separate exercises. The first is called the exercise on six, where we'll be focusing on the movement of the spine. The second exercise is a leg brush, where we're focusing on the direction of the legs. The third exercise is when we put the two together, combining the leg movement as well as the spine. In the last part, I've given the dancers agency to do their own material um, based on what we did in the first three exercises, including a traveling passage called a triplet. Often when Cunningham would rehearse some of the work, it would he would use a stopwatch in order to uh, measure the time for the dancers. If the dancers needed to dance for exactly 22 minutes and 13 seconds, uh, we wouldn't measure that by, by the music. Instead, we would use a stopwatch. Um, so we're, first we're going to start with the exercise on six with our arms wide, our feet right underneath us, um, pointing front. And we're going to uh, bend our knees, plie and twist to, to the right side, keeping the shoulders down. Then we'll go up and over on the diagonal, curving just the upper back. Do not move the hips. Then we bring that to the front, keeping those shoulders down. Flat back, you have to change the pelvis to make a flat back. Then we're going to stretch through the legs and then come up with that flat back and then do the same thing to the left side. So twist and bend the knees up and over. Twist back to the front, keep your pelvis um, even, then tilt the pelvis forward to make a flat back. Lengthen out of the top of the head as you stretch your knees and then come up on count six, that's six counts. And then the second part, twist and plie curve over. We're gonna lift up to the back. Again, make a flat back here. Feels so good in the sun. And then curve up and over. We're gonna stretch the legs to make an arch and then come up on count six. So we twist on one, curve on two, flat back on three, curve up and over on four, press through the legs on five, and come up on six. So we're just gonna do those two sets um, for today. Okay, ready? Here we go. Five and six, go one, and two, a three, five and six, twisting one, over two, to the front, Flat back, stretch the knees, and up you go. And part two, and up and over the space, and flat back, and curve, and arch, and up you go, and left, and curve, to the flat back, and curve, and arch, and up. Sometimes I do this with the, the hands on the shoulders. So when you twist, you can, um, you can think of keeping the shoulders down as you go and you're moving just the spine without the shoulders coming up and down. I often see uh, dancers lifting their shoulders up and around rather than just keeping them in place. Beautiful, Julie. Uh, so the next, next exercise is about the legs. We're, just, we're gonna brush the leg on the diagonal and then brush the leg directly to the front, uh, diagonal side, directly to the side, diagonal to the back, directly to the back, and then one more diagonal. So you're basically making a circle um, with your feet. So you're, you're going to the diagonal, front, diagonal, directly side, diagonal back, directly back behind you, diagonal, and let's, have, let's add a plie, just a bend of the knees, just to finish on count eight. And then we'll do it with the left, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, plie on the eight. And then we'll go from the back, back diagonal, directly back, back diagonal again, directly side, diagonal, 
directly front, diagonal, and bend your knees, and the opposite with the left. Yeah, you wanna keep your spine upright the whole time, so we're not uh, mi mixing up the spine, uh, doing something maybe <laughs> interesting here. We wanna keep this nice and straight. And so this is an exercise just for your legs, yeah? Um, also, when you come back to your, uh, what we call first position, getting your legs together, you want um, the, the feet planted evenly instead of being putting your weight on one foot or the other. So evenly distribute your weight onto two feet. Ready? So this is five and six and seven and eight we go and brush and brush and brush and brush back directly back back and plie and a one and two and keep breathing the whole time back back diagonal bend your knees and a back keep lifting up make sure you're evening out your weight in between two feet and a one, and two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Beautiful. So this exercise is for the legs and the back. We're gonna start with a lunge, curving, and then we're gonna tilt away from that leg that's straight. We go to a lunge forward with the back flat. We're gonna twist towards that back leg, then push up to your balance. You can do it, chard, and come back down. There we go. And curve, and tilt, and flat back. Then your twist, and then your balance, and come down. Then we reverse that. We'll go to the back, curving. This time you'll tilt towards the leg that's straight. Take your arch, twist towards the leg that's in front, and push up to your balance and lower. Make sure both legs are even uh, on both feet, exactly. I do that thing where you lift, lift your feet up just to, just to double check that you're on both feet. Last time on the left, curve and tilt and an arch and twist towards that front leg and pull up to your balance and close, beautiful. All right, here we go, one more time, ready? Seven, eight, and a curve, and tilt, and flat, and twist, and up, and down, and curve, and tilt, and flat back, and twist, and push up, and down, a curve, tilt, arch, twist, and up, down, curve, tilt, arch, twist, and up, down, <laughs> okay. Well, I'm not exactly an, an expert historian on, in Merce Cunningham, but I believe he, there's definitely an uh, interest in human transit. Um, for, for example, some of the works that he's created, such as Scenario or even Beach Birds, reminds, reminds me of um, how animals are, are moving from place to place en masse.